Hey, I'm Emily Dreyfus. And I'm Kareem Levy. And this is Rumor Has It, the show where we round up the week's biggest tech rumors. And then we vote on what sounds legit and what seems like it'll never, ever happen. And don't forget that you guys can vote with us. Keep your eyes peeled for the poll in the interactive player if you're watching on CNET. In an attempt to deflect from its plummeting stock price, Facebook is said to be prepping a native Android app that doesn't use HTML5. It released a native iOS app for iDevices back in September, and everyone loves it. So this seems pretty obvious, as Zuckerberg even admitted himself that HTML5 Facebook app was a huge mistake. Probably we will look back on saying that that is one of the biggest mistakes, if not the biggest strategic mistake that we've made, but we're coming out of that now. It's about time. Native code will help me stalk my friend's pictures much faster. <laughs> next up, we have a rumor about Sony's possible next flagship phone. Sony is the company with the Xperia line of phones that are always accompanied by an alphabet soup of letters. Sony Xperia S, LT, and the latest one, the TL, which James Bond will use in the next film, Skyfall. Sony is maybe getting rid of the alphabet soup, however, at least according to information first noticed by Blog of Mobile. Kidding, the company is supposedly prepping a C650X smartphone under the codename of Odin. By the power of Odin. I declare this phone dead on arrival. All we really know is that it'll have Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Duh. Maybe one of the Avengers will use it in their next film. Get it? Like Thor? <laughs> Odin? I already went there. Next up, The Verge has hands-on photos of the Boxy TV, a device that aims to combine over-the-air live TV broadcasts, DVR functionality, and web apps into a single home theater solution. This is my dream come true. Seriously, as a cable cutter, this is going to change my life. Where was this last week when I needed to rewind the over-the-air broadcast of the debate to see if he had really said he was going to kill Big Bird? <laughs> the current boxy box requires a separately sold dongle to watch live TV, but the new box has a TV tuner. An external antenna is also said to be included. And the new hardware will provide similar network streaming abilities to those found in the present model. So you can still watch all your ripped homeland or whatever it is. You'd love it. <laughs> I don't care if this thing delivers bags of money to my doorstep. If it doesn't have Top Chef on Bravo, then I'm out. But see, it's a cost-benefit analysis. I also watch Top Chef, but I buy it on Amazon. And even doing that, I still save money from paying a monthly cable bill. Right, but you watch it a day late, and you're a dollar short. But see, I'm not a dollar short. I got cash money in my pocket. What do you guys think? Is this the cable-cutting dream come true we've been waiting for? Don't forget to vote while we go ask the people of San Francisco what they think. So now, so there's this box that's coming out. Supposedly, it's a rumor that um, will provide over the air broadcasts and you can also DVR those shows. Would that make you interested in cutting the cord? Absolutely. Yes. One quick question Do you know who Honey Boo Boo is? No. Good for you. <laughs> all right. First of all, do you have cable TV? Yes, I do. Would you ever consider getting rid of it and just going cable cutter free? Sure. Okay, one more question Do you know who Honey Boo Boo is? No. <laughs> Good, you're a better man for it. <laughs> do you have cable TV? No, sorry, I don't have. You don't? Do you watch TV on the internet or do you watch TV at all? Sometimes I watch a uh, TV program online. For me, I don't have to pay for cable TV. Uh, yeah. So you're not interested in TV? You have to watch uh, like a TV program online. Yeah. Now, one more question. Do you know who Honey Boo Boo is? Ah, uh, I know Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> All right. Do you have a cable subscription? Yes, I do. Have you considered becoming a cable cutter? No. <laughs> who would want to be a cable cutter? <laughs> So most of the people on the street with cable didn't seem willing to part with it at all. But a lot of them also didn't know who Honey Boo Boo was. Let's go upstairs and see what the CNET Council thinks. The CNET Council is composed of five editors who cast their votes anonymously. Their opinions are not an endorsement by CNET or CBS Interactive. Obviously because these are rumors, folks. And the CNET Council's verdict is... Unanimous knows. Wow, our CNET editors really do not think that DVRing over the air network television is the killer cable cutter feature that could lure cable addicts like you away from your monthly bills. Duh, Emily, they can't live without access to Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> I don't even know who Honey Boo Boo is, and I'm proud. Our comment of the week comes from Rude, who writes about the iPad mini. If all these rumors turn out to be accurate, then I'm convinced that Apple can no longer keep its development projects secret kind of takes away from Apple's magical and unexpected grand reveals, doesn't it? 
That's our show, everybody. Please share your rumors at rumorhasit at cnet.com or call us at 1-800-750-CNET and tweet us. And tune in next week for more Tech Rumors. Unanimous nose. Wow. Our CNET editors really don't think that DVRing over the air network television is the killer cable cutter feature that could lure cable addicts away from their monthly bills. <laughs> Duh, Emily. They can't live without access to Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what Honey Boo Boo is. <laughs> I didn't know that that's what you wrote. <laughs> let's try it one more time and I'm going to do it perfect. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's try it one more time. I won't mess it up, I promise. Okay. And the... <laughs> I didn't know that you put that there. It was like a surprise. <laughs> I love Honey Boo Boo. <laughs>